The first three episodes of Meghan and Harry's hotly anticipated documentary have finally been released on Netflix where the couple decry the prying paparazzi and give new insight into the first few months of their romance before it became public to the world. The documentary also features interviews with an array of people from Meghan's mother, Doria Raglan, to the couple's friends and experts including Robert Hazel, author of The Role of Monarchy in Modern Democracy, who shares what it is really like to be a member of the royal family. Mr. Hazel explained that while many of us would be envious of the royals and the life of luxury they seemingly lead, in reality, he described them as being like a bird in a gilded cage. The likes of King Charles, Prince William and Kate Middleton, have little to no autonomy in choosing what they can and cannot do, he added. Mr. Hazel gave examples of things that the royals cannot have a say in, such as their careers or their religion, while paintings of Queen Elizabeth II, Princess Diana, and images of William and Kate standing pensively are shown on screen. As an example, referenced in the Harry Meghan documentary, Prince William had to seek the monarch's formal permission before he could marry the now Princess of Wales. Not only this but according to the royal family's website, the monarch cannot be Catholic. An expert, speaking on the documentary, explained how William and Kate have no autonomy, image, Getty, the documentary is the couple's way of telling their side of the story, image, Netflix. He said, for ordinary members of the public, we like to think that the royal family lives extraordinarily privileged lives with lots of servants and they live in palaces and they have it very easy I don't envy them for one moment. They live, for me, in a gilded cage. They lack most of the freedoms that the rest of us take for granted. They have very little autonomy in choosing their own futures. Formally, they lack the freedom to choose their own religion. The first half dozen in the line of succession have to get the Queen's permission before they get married. They don't really have any free choice over their own career. And modern media are very intrusive. Part of the currency of talking about the royal family is to share secrets. As he speaks, an image of a steely-faced prince and princess of Wales adorns the screen. Read more, Doria Ragland hits out at Meghan's dad absolutely stunned Harry explained that both he and Meghan have made sacrifices, image, Getty. Much of the documentary centers around the sacrifices the couple have made since they first went public with their relationship in October 2016. But with Harry choosing to leave the life he was born into, he has, in a sense, regained some autonomy to tell his own story. The Duke of Sussex, speaking on the documentary, explained that his wife of four years sacrificed everything that she ever knew, the freedom that she had to join him in his world. However, he said that he then did the same for her. He added, then pretty soon after that, I ended up sacrificing everything I know to join her in her world. The couple announced they were stepping down as senior members of the royal family in January 2020. The first two episodes of the documentary, released on Thursday, October 8, are available on Netflix. Don't miss, Harry and Meghan stand accused of betraying late Queen's trust, insight hero last dambuster Johnny Johnson dies aged 101, breaking, soldiers may give up Christmas to cover strike action, report trending.